good morning in this class we are going to see master slave flip flop in last class we have seen jk flip flop and demerits of jk flip flop racing around condition racing around condition is the drawback of jk flip flop racing around condition is the drawback of jk flip flop that is demerit what's the demerit when you give one one to the jk flip flop when you give one one to the jk flip flop it toggles it toggles but when the clock pulse is lengthier then it keep on changing the output keep on changing that means 1 to 0 jk flip flop one wait q this is the jk flip flop the output q and q bar the output q q bar if it is 1 0 means it keep on changing from 0 to 1 1 to 0 1 1 to 0 just like it keep on changing this toggling is called racing around condition why racing around the condition because when you give 1 1 to jk flip flop the output is changing from 1 to 0 and q bar 0 to 1 and due to the clock pulse and the presence of 1 1 the toggling occurs throughout the circuit first in the output due to the feedback connection the change in the input due to the change in our in input output changes due to the output changes input changes therefore the change keep on taking place around the circuit therefore it is called a racing around the condition this race zero one race takes place around the circuit that is the demerit of jk flip-flop now the demerit is removed in master slave flip-flop First, I will draw master slave flip flop in a block diagram and explain, and using a NAND gate, we will explain. Here, two JK flip flops are used. Two jk flip flops are used okay here you are giving the input j input k input this output goes to next gk sorry here k this output goes to next j and k and you are getting output here you are getting output here when j equal to 1, when j equal to 1 and k equal to 1, the output toggles and this toggling is carried out to this and you are getting the output here. But what is the need for this both two? Here, this first one is connected to the clock pulse which is positive triggering, which is positive triggering. The next one is connected through a NOT gate the next one is connected through a NOT gate that means first one will respond the first flip flop will respond for the inputs to the positive triggering of the clock pulse now the same clock pulse is connected through a NOT gate therefore this output is given here by this input will not respond for this change due to the negative triggering because it is connected through a NOT gate. Therefore, this output will not generate it will not generate output for this J and K. When the clock pulse changes, now this change will occur for this positive. Now it will produce, for example, one here. 0 here that means it has toggled okay from some other cases now the output is 1 0 now this is the input 
Now here the output we don't know, but it will generate during the next clock pulse. This negative clock pulse because when you give a negative here, then it will change due to the next cycle. Then this change will occur during the negative clock pulse. Therefore, the first one is called master. The first one is called master and the second one is called slave. Okay. Why we call this slave? Because this second flip-flop copies the action of the first one in the second clock pulse. That means positive triggering, negative triggering. Therefore, the slave copies the action of the master. Therefore, it is called master slave. First, master is responding for positive triggering and the slave is responding for negative triggering. Now, due to this, this toggling will not occur. Okay, again and again. Toggling will not occur again and again. That means there is no race around condition here. Let us draw with the NAND gate diagram. Here the circuit is let the rod. Please carefully watch. Now this connection first latch and then this one navigate navigate. Now this is the clock pulse, this is input, this is input, this is J input, this is K input. Now this is one flip flop. Now you connect here another same pattern here. Okay. Here NAND gate, another NAND gate. Okay. Now this one comes here. Okay. And this one comes here. Okay, the same pattern we have connected here. Now, <clears throat> in a JK flip flop, we have connected the feedback connection from Q and Q bar. Okay, let us extend Q and Q bar. Okay, Q is connected to the K input and the Q bar is connected to the J input. Therefore, take a line here, take a line here and connect here. Okay, feedback connection. Now, <coughs> for clarity, I am using another pen. Now, take a line here and you connect. Okay, this is the feedback connection. Now let us see. One thing is missing clock pulse. Now this is clock pulse. Okay, for this flip flop, that means for the first one. Okay, master and this one slave. Okay, for master, it is a positive triggering. Master, it is a positive triggering. Now, for the slave, you have to connect through a NOT gate. Through a NOT gate. Here, you have to connect. Here, you have to connect through a NOT gate. Okay. Now, let us check. When you give one here, when you give one to the JK equal to one, and k equal to 1. Okay, let us assume here. This is q and this is q bar. Okay, for this master, this is 
Q and Q bar, J and K are both are 1. When you give a clock pulse, that is, it is positive trailing upward. Okay. Then this will produce, for example, it produces due to toggling or whatever may be, Q equal to 1 and Q bar equal to 0. Toggles, okay, from one state to another state. Q equal to 1 and Q bar equal to 0. Now this change is going to the next NAND gate. But it will respond during the negative triggering only. Now the triggering is positive. The triggering is positive. That means in the up. Now due to this up, it is responding and it generates output. Now the positive triggering is connected here synchronously. That is same timing it is connected. Therefore this output goes here but clock pulse is not responding. Due to this, this Q and Q bar will not generate or will not change its output. Now when it goes down, when this goes down 0 to 1, 1 to 0, when it goes down then it will change, it will take this output as an input, this output as an input and it will respond Q equal to 1 and Q bar equal to 0 during the negative clock pulse. Now we have a change in the output of the slave. This, con this is output is connected to the input but at that time the clock pulse is negative. At that time the clock pulse is negative. Therefore this change will not be taken by these AND gates. This change will not be taken by this AND gate due to the negative clock pulse of this. Okay, due to the negative clock pulse of this. Therefore, it will not respond. It will respond during the next time only. During the next clock pulse only, it will toggle. At the time, if you change the input, then it will change according to the input as well as clock pulse. Therefore, the second part copies the action or the output of the first one. Therefore, master is the prime one, slave is the secondary one. Okay. Now, the toggling occurs here in the positive clock pulse, there in the negative clock pulse. Therefore, the race around condition is eliminated or removed in case of a master slave flip-flop. Thank you. If you have any doubt, drop in a comment box.